Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Steve with All Dogs Off-Road, and on today's video we're going to be talking about your rear differential breather that can be found on 2nd Gen Frontiers, 2nd Gen Xterras, and 1st Gen Titans. So we have a couple of them laid out here. These are all factory breathers, and um, there is a common problem among Nissans that make these need to be replaced eventually. So the role of a differential breather is basically it goes into your axle, and as your axle starts to heat up, whether it be you know driving down the road, off-road, towing, whatever, when that starts to heat up, pressure builds inside the axle, and that pressure needs to go somewhere. And that is the role of a differential breather. The breather basically allows the, to, it regulates the pressure inside of your axle so that it doesn't build up too much pressure and blow out your axle seals on either end of the axle. So you can see here, this is a brand new, fully functional breather. You can you know, see it works just fine. It will regulate the air so that it doesn't build up too much pressure and your axle seals stay in good shape. Now, as your truck starts to get older, you know, rust starts to build up and then you can see that they slowly get a little bit rustier and a little bit rustier and a little bit rustier until you reach the end where the unit completely seals shut. You know, you don't get that movement anymore. And um, what happens is pressure isn't allowed to be released anymore in the axle. So pressure builds up, builds up, builds up. And then the next thing to go is gonna be your axle seals and that's a very expensive fix. So this design is inherently flawed from the factory and almost everybody who doesn't replace their factory breather ends up having to replace their axle seals sometime down the road. So, Here's what the inside of one actually looks like. So here's one that we pulled apart. You see the cap comes off and you have a spring and you have this little piece of rubber and then you have the breather or the, the piece that screws into your axle. So this plastic piece goes right on top and then this spring goes into the cap and it does that and it works just fine. But for how easily this will actually get rusted shut, it's a design flaw that needs to be addressed. So we scrap all these guys and in comes the solution. There are a couple solutions that you can do, um, a couple options available to you. The first option is going to be for the daily drivers out there, ones who just don't want to have to worry about having a failed unit and want an OE replacement because, you know, they're just daily driving, doing not doing anything crazy. And that's going to be our All Dogs Off-Road replacement piece, which screws right into your axle. And the difference is, unlike this, where it is a, you know, it's a spring and it's a mechanical unit that is prone to failure, ours actually screws right into the axle and inside is a membrane similar to the membrane found in performance backpacking gear and performance jackets. It will let air through, but it won't allow water through. So this will prevent you from getting water inside of your axle and, you know, diluting your oil or um, letting water in and eventually damaging your ring and pinion. So this is a great OE replacement. It uh, bolts or it screws right into where your factory unit goes, but you know you don't have to worry about this design flaw, and it's a and it's a great option. For those of you who are doing a lot of off-roading, you know you're burying your axle in the water and the mud, getting it really really dirty. There's an option where you can actually take your breather and relocate it somewhere else. So what it does is it just gets it up out of the way, so that even when you're in deep deep water, whatever you're still breathing freely and you don't have anything to worry about. So with that, a few more things are required. So we start with a seven foot piece of rubber hose. Uh, we offer three and a half feet and seven foot options. The seven foot option is for relocating your breather to behind your taillight. And then the, uh, the three and a half foot option is for, you know, just taking it up a little bit and tying it up into the frame. Both are gonna be better options for the off-roader, but you know, if you're really regularly burying your axle in water, dirt, mud, whatever, we would definitely recommend taking it behind the taillight just for that extra layer of protection. And with that, you're going to have this barb, 
which screws into your axle where the stock breather goes. Uh, and then the barb is gonna go into the hose. You run the hose up to your taillight or wherever you wanna put it. And then the other end, our unit is going to go into the other end and that's gonna be what prevents water from getting into your axle. So those are two different options. They're, um, whatever option you go with is gonna be better than the factory option. There's a lot of people who are, you know, crazy supporters of this way of doing it or crazy supporter of the other way of doing it. But our opinion here at All Dogs Off-Road is as long as you're getting the mod done and you're taking care of the faulty breather, that's all that matters. That's where, that's what we care about. So, this is a kit that we sell on our site. We sell, you know, this on its own, and then we sell the full relocate kit, whatever you wanna go with. Um, pricing is uh, pretty good. I believe that the relocate kit is $30 with free shipping, and then this on its own is just gonna be $15 with free shipping. But, let's say that you wanted to do it yourself. You know, you're the type of person who just likes you know, sourcing things on their own, likes tackling it on their own, doesn't really want to, you know, rely on other people to do it. Totally understand. Um, so here are some pointers for you if you want to source it yourself. You know, quarter inch ID hose, easy enough to source, you know, any local parts store will have it. You're going to want to pick up a couple zip ties. You're going to want to pick up a uh, one or two hose clamps. And for the barb, this is the thing that most people get wrong. The thread pitch for the barb required for your rear differential breather relocate is 1 8 BSPT. That is the thread pitch that you need. A lot of people will tell you that M10 by 1.0, I believe, will work just fine. It will not. The important difference is that the thread on 1 8 BSPT is tapered. So it's smaller at the bottom than it is on the top. So when you screw it into your axle, it will actually create a seal and, um, and not damage the threads in your axle. If you wanted to run a, you know, a, a standard uh, thread pitch, it could probably work, but it would take a lot of effort to get it in and you would definitely um, permanently deform the threads on your, uh, on your axle when it's really not designed to be like that. 1 8 BSPT is what it has been designed for for the factory, so that's what, one that you wanna make sure that you run. You may have trouble sourcing this from a local parts store because not many people carry a British pipe thread, um, but you know, you'll know, definitely be able to find it online, um, or you know, if you happen to find a specialty parts store, they might have something like this, but this is the most important thing to get right. Do your best to get this correct pipe thread because we don't want you damaging your axle when it's not needed. So, all of that being said, it, one thing that is important to know is that this mod is preventative maintenance. It does not necessarily prevent your axle, uh, your axle seals from going eventually. Um, it's the type of thing where, you know, if you leave this go long enough, you're just going to accelerate how fast your axle seals go. This is great preventative maintenance and it'll make it so that your breather is not the reason that your axle fails, but you know, it, I don't want anybody getting this and then uh, assuming that it's going to make your axle invincible or whatever, just, you know, still proceed with caution, still take care of maintenance and all that stuff. But, you know, this is a beautiful, awesome preventative maintenance that you can do to your truck that we recommend for everybody, regardless of the year. I mean, okay, well, within the, within the year range, you know, regardless of new your vehicle is, regardless of all that, you know, it's the, it's the first mod that you should do right when you bring the truck home. Um, so... Thanks for watching guys, I hope you learned something. It was a brief overview of the rear differential breather and breather relocate for the second gen Nissan Frontier, second gen Nissan Xterra, and first gen Titan. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video.